are going to be on the red side this time, as Rare Atom did have a bit of a uh, hiccup in that game number one earlier. They're looking to come back this time in much more stability, in a, in a better uh, discipline mindset. Also, they are going to be picking up the Jacks again. I mean, it is going to be interesting. Rocky did have a fantastic performance with this um, with his champion, though it did not turn out into a win, especially when he got caught in the tri brush earlier. So, yeah. let's see. So now, if yep, let's get into the picks and bans because they are raring to go. Haha, <laughs> rare Adam fun right there, and they will still be going with the jacks. It did work out really well for Rocky. I don't think they really had a lot of gaps in their game plan. It was pretty pretty solid all throughout. However, Trace Esports just had some uh, really good. Uh, Really good reads, really good team fights towards the late game, and they were able to turn a losing game into one that they won. But uh, of course, since this is a Chinese conference team, they play kind of a, a little bit of a slower game, one that doesn't, um, you know, that, that one that doesn't really lend itself to a hmm. lot of aggression, you know, early on because they don't want to give up Ooh. any advantages super super early because i can transition into a uh you know into a snowball basically especially with uh a Jax on rare adam side and trace esports they will also still be going with basically the same thing they will be trading supports though this time it's going to be talk on that nautilus and max on the uh, gragas riven though coming in uh could be flexed into jungle could be in the baron lane could also be in the middle lane. I have been really interested in in seeing maybe a good Shen in this particular game since it is available. But well, um, I mean, we all have our preference uh, as well. I think Rare Atom and the uh, Trace Esports just want to to use what's working so far uh, for themselves. Just like Rare Atom adapting with the Wu Kong pick this time for uh, for uh, Morty as uh, Weiba actually did a really fantastic job even landing that uh, MVP spot a while ago and yeah, the Gragas as well has been amazing on the side of uh, Trace Esports earlier with the attack just really uh, cementing that good initiation and also disengage sometimes with the cask and the body slam and look at how they are also respecting in a possible answer by uh, by Trace Esports by banning out this Olaf because they used this early and Morty was a monster in that early game but I mean we have seen them kind of scaling off in the late game just yeah. I mean th their lineup is really good at the time but it's just so uh, so bad that, that they got caught I think just uh, with them not being in the right mindset at the time possibly just letting their guard down and Trace Esports punishing them. It's something that they should be avoiding in this game if they want to push this to a game number three, of course. Exactly. And not to mention, Olaf also kind of falls off a cliff uh, in the late game once everybody gets their items. And that's why they, you know, they kind of paired it with Jax, who goes off in the late game. But this time, Trace Esports, uh, they are going to be uh, taking that chase, picking up the chase. They're going to be on the red side this time so uh that ziggs was incredible actually for trace esports wind did so so much damage uh and he sniped a couple of kills with his mega inferno bomb as well so ooh, uh, i am Zed very pick. interested to see ooh zed pick yeah i'm very interested to see um uh, how wind will be doing with his ziggs now the Wait, wait, let's do it, do it. I swear to God, please pick it, because... Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get an Ash. I, it would have been hilarious to see a Vagar go up against a Ziggs. You know, that's a classic kind of a uh, uh, mage matchup, right? Where the Vigar also is really good for late game scaling, but that does leave their early game a little bit more vulnerable. Now, Corky, a hyper scaler mm -hmm. uh, in, this, uh, in this meta, is going to be really really decent here in the bot lane against the ziggs because he does have that range advantage as well but now trace esports with a kha'zix on kha'zix on Weba. i think this is going to be uh, a game that trace esports is going to be a bit more aggressive in because they need to have that kha'zix you know it's a feaster famine champion and if you're not feasting then it you're basically well, you're anyway. 
Yeah. Exactly. It's a famine. You're you're, you're going to be uh, not doing all too well in, uh, in team fights. You need to be able to get those payoffs and stuff. So it's going to be up to Trace Esports. The onus is on them, especially in the early to mid game, to make this Kha'Zix pick work, especially because they're going up against an assassin as well in the t in, uh, Zen. I mean, this is a classic pick coming in from uh, from Weiba, the Kha'Zix. Definitely, this is this is what he wants to uh, to pick off as a jungler, and I think he's also going to be going with a serious mode now in this game against Rare Atom. Let's see who is going to be coming on top of this. Will it be Rare Atom or Trace Esports? Trace Esports now match point in the series. And has a really good standing and momentum right now in this game. Let's see if Rare Atom can actually push this to a game number three. They do have the Zed. So we can expect yeah. them to make some aggressive plays in the early game. Especially with the, ro the rotations coming in. But Trace Esports has shown how disciplined they can be. In slowing the tempo down of their enemy team. While ago... I mean, they had such a hard time in uh, the mid to late game, but they managed to, you know, punish every mistake of uh, the enemy in that yeah. particular game. So and that's something I think that uh, Rare Atom has to constantly keep in mind. And that's checking. Exactly. They need to make less six here, honestly, uh, because it really was those minor, minor missteps that they did in the uh, late game that uh, got Rare Adam into trouble in that first game. Now, Talk here, he's uh, being a little cheeky there, doing a little attack on the Raptors before going over to the mid lane, as you should with the supports. You are uh, more of a roaming uh, presence here, kind of like a second jungler in Wild Rift. So, uh, Trace Esports definitely have the uh have the capability to go hard to go hard but not here because the rose gets caught that is yeah quite a bit of taking a bit of max. damage so is max just a trade of blows here by the support and the mid laner but that's already a, uh, a good sign here actually coming in from oh. trace esports stack has been very consistent in his saving saving grace for his allies but side we do see yuri just zoning out a wind Whatever gets a chance to do so. Overall, a, a really safe start here by both teams, just poking yeah. each other down. There is a fight on the top side, though, as we do see a uh, Lee Sao and Rai just going onto each other once again, similar to game number one. Yeah, Lee Sao and Rocky, they have been at each other's throats pretty much uh, for this, for the first game, for the second game as well. But Lee Sao, I think, with Riven needs to be able to bring the aggression now uh, against that Jax because honestly that's kind of what's been missing here uh, on the side of Trace Esports. They weren't able to get the to unfeed the Jax. They weren't able to uh, gap him all too much in the first game. That's why he was such a huge huge force for Rare Adam in the mid to late game uh, of the last game because Rocky was just an absolute terror they whenever he was split pushing they had to call on two sometimes three members to just try to stop it that relieved a lot of pressure uh for rare adam in the other lanes and they could set up uh, stuff in the river stuff in the jungle and honestly trace esports they uh while they do have the onus here they still need to be very careful of not feeding that Jax. Yeah, because if you feed the Jax, you're going to be in trouble. Though, Dreadshine going to be connecting here. Max just looking for that disengage. Always consistent. With the body stamp, a while ago, did get that good poke down towards Rose. And setups with the Jax. I mean, these CN Confidence players or teams are just really talented in using the Gragas. Also, the Nautilus. The stack has been very consistent in landing that Dredgeline. As much as possible. Though, he needs to be very careful because the counterplay is much possible. Especially with Morty. In the vicinity a while ago. Did yeah, recall though, as now Lisa goes in. Wind Slash not gonna be connecting here onto, onto Max. Lisa and Tap just gonna be forced, uh, forced to go back for the meantime. Good disengage by Rocky and Max. I mean, they do have their tower simply holding them. Yep. Uh, that was a, an ambitious play coming in. From uh, from the Riven. I mean, we have seen some very 
Oh, <laughs> I absolutely love that. <laughs> just use just love knife. seeing that. I mean, yes. it's quite tactical. You won't get your your, your yes. reset will be delayed. The back timing. And Irma is will be a have awkward. just in preparation for this ocean drink as well, or the RH, whoever, whichever objective will be prioritized by these these teams. But there is a potential gank coming in from Weba in the bottom side. We do see him just hovering there in the bottom side river. Top side is a little bit scary as well. Lee Sao and Tak needs to prep themselves. No vision whatsoever inside this dry brush. So any entry can be unstoppable. Max with his... Ooh, okay. Ooh, that oh. was uh, almost a really good uh, catch there for Tak. I do like that the shields are... Uh, stacking up here for both Lee Sao and Max because they do need to be able to deal with all that harass. Oh, they, he knows you're there, Irma. He's ready to go for an assassination, doesn't know that it's warded. Uh, Rose may be able to bait him in, did not go for the ultimate, yo. Though he. Okay, okay, good dodge, good dodge there. Okay, Weva though, he, he has the scene. They know that he's on the Drake. Now they gotta close in on him. Cask avoided with cast. the flash though. Mm -hmm. That is all that a. Uh... A good dodge here by Weiba. And without the Rare cast, Adam I think priority. Rare Atom might just hesitate a little bit on the team fight. Actually, Tracy Sports will respect them for the meantime, transferring towards the top side. River, though they do meet with with Rocky there at the moment. And since they are a little bit Rose. delayed here on this. Oh, okay. He's actually going to be contesting. Almost gets a kill. The dragon has it's been Cyclone. taken down by Morty, gets the the HP as well, and gets Morty that outplay everything. too! One kill already, and now they even get this fight going. Rocky just decimating them, though Lisa is starting to pop up. Rocky, counter-strike in, jumps right in as well, gets the kill onto Lisa. And now it's a, a turning of tides here by both of these teams. Yeah, Objective-wise, I think a Rare Atom actually has the upper hand. Yeah, and this was just a little bit of a messy fight for Trace Esports. Uh, they they did go for the priority on the uh, Rift Herald, and they did get it. However, Wave did so much damage there, and Yuri, uh, he did get caught here. But look at this! I wanted you to see this Counter Strike. You saw Tak try to auto attack him to go for the stun, uh, but unfortunately, his Counter Strike was already up, so that actually gave them the kill. It, they got the RH as well. Oh my God, so that's, they actually got the steal. That's everything, everything taken away Adam. from Trace Esports. Such a good value play. And I mean, it was a good try by Rose to try Ooh, and stop that dragon engage. fight, but Big now dive. he is in trouble. Nice use of the hammer strike. Actually, might get an outplay. No more auto attack from the tower. It saves the life there of Max. But at least, you know, Rose did not fall down. Yeah, and uh, that was a great attempt at a tower dive. The explosive cask was well, well placed, but now. Okay, Lee Sao, I don't think he should be going for this fight because Rocky is ahead of him in terms of gold. Um, and he did already use his ultimate into the... Uh, just to just to get a tiny, tiny bit of damage. So back to neutral we go. Very, very slightly ahead is uh, Rare Adam in terms of gold, but they are so, so ahead in terms of uh, tempo and pressure because they did get uh, both of the big objectives off of the map. And they got more tower damage because of that, because of the Herald charge. Uh, and that does mean that Morty will be a little bit more free to explore the jungle to look for potential routes here to get kills. Max as well, we saw a great attempt in the bot lane uh, with the Jace being aggressed on. Speaking of Jace getting aggressed on... Yeah, Rose gonna be in trouble here. That Mart doing a lot of damage and that's just gonna be a kill by Morty. Weba though. Going a little bit deep, here comes the depth charge coming in. And Weba as well with a follow-up. As well as that uh, really nice bomb coming from Wind. And uh, they do get that one for one though. Top side is a bit difficult here. Oh. Body stamp prevents Lisa from getting oh. anywhere near the tower. Saved. But oh they my got God, the what? kill onto the Zed, which is huge here. We went back just doing wonders in this bot lane. Yeah, Tracy Esports now. They have uh, the upper hand. They've got the first tower of the game. They got that kill. And it did take uh, Rare Adam a little bit to get that tower. But let's take a look at how that happened, actually. Because first of all, Rose got caught here. And he did do a good job of uh, extending his life. But Death Park just did a little bit too much. Weba and talk a bit late on the uptake. But 
I thought we were going to see another fight there. Uh, but they were good in uh, pushing the lane and then aggressing on that set, knowing that he didn't have a death mark to try to make some fancy plays happen in the around his tower. So they were very confident in that dive. Uh, and that does mean that Trace Esports, they have evened up the gold. Wind and Weba actually are the ones who are at the top of the uh, gold uh, scoreboard right now. So that uh, Ziggs is going to start to hurt. We've seen uh, some Mega Inferno bombs really chunking down people, uh, even though they were mainly used for assists and uh, some big AoE damage. This, w when we get into some big team fights, uh, Rare Adam does have to play around not clumping because if they do clump up, that uh, Mega Inferno bomb could spell, you know, the difference between winning and losing. But if you don't clump up, if you go separated, then that's where Weiba actually pops off. He has been consistent in assassinating those isolated members of Rare Atom, especially with the help of Tak. So it kind of gets confusing here on the side of Rare Atom, and that's yeah. the intention here of Trace Esports. A while ago, they lost both objectives. This time, they're looking to back on getting oh, this R. H has a big turn onto the corner. They do get that kill. Now Weiba is in trouble. Counter strike being avoided. But here comes Rose as well in the front line. MIB doing quite a bit. Rocky, Rocky. for a little bit back. Actually, what are you goes doing? Back and that is questionable. What did you do? But now with the counter strike, he's able to avoid a lot of damage. Lisa is cutting them off. Down. They do get the jacks. Now Irma is in trouble. They have to give this orange away, but PE actually just turns on to them. They want the kills. Plus this RH. Three kills. Now they can actually post towards this mountain dragon even. Yeah, definitely a big, big swing in terms of tempo and gold for trace esports they just got a huge huge kill on yuri who was caught sleeping there and they got a tower with the rift herald charge so they got everything that they wanted two kills the herald and then they get priority on drake the jacks is nowhere to be seen so if uh, rare adam wants to contest this they have to risk oh. everything and they may be risking everything max is there so he goes for the cast Morty is just not there that is unfortunate and trace esports recognize that fact now they actually go in this is really bad for rare atom but what can they do pa valkyrie gonna be used rose, rose is lives. very low flash in by yuri to secure the kill and now they actually turn into the back line when forces to use this flash that's gonna be a dead nautilus as well nothing that they can do no rocky is quite low but i mean rare atom Picking up the pace, not letting Trace Esports just get away everything for free. Yeah, good turn around. 3 4 1. Uh, Rare Adam definitely, definitely want to uh, prevent uh, Trace Esports from getting even more momentum because they did secure that dragon very quickly and then they turned on oh, this that cask. Fight. Yeah, that cask was absolutely godlike. That, that could have been good. That it could have been it, it could have been good. it got like in its miss you know uh but that uh mega inferno bomb as well a little bit left to be desired but they just weren't prepared for morty and rocky to jump in uh on them so you know a little bit unprepared a little bit of a misstep there from trace esports these mistakes will start to add up little by little and it is still trace esports who uh who have a tiny tiny bit of a gold lead but at the moment, it does show that uh, Rare Adam, they were the ones who were doing all of the damage there. Mm -hmm. It has been a tight game, tight series as well. The Trace Esports is the one right now getting the opportunities across the map. They, ha they have been paying dear respect towards Rocky as well. Now with Lee Sao and Weiba, well, they will be dit ditching or avoiding him for the meantime after he did disengage. And look at the gold difference over time. It has been a a really uh, back and forth game here by both teams. And uh, Trace Esports just lost that big chunk of gold lead a while ago as well. Due to Rare Atom just uh, punishing them as well in their deep moments. Now Lee Sao might actually be in trouble. As Rare Atom always oh. still continue to pose. Ice on Max because he wants to set up the that cast don't miss and that is track. really bad. He is Not going lucky. too deep. Morty chasing down Lee Sao, but will be unsuccessful in doing so. A lot of ultimates actually expended already by Rare Atom. This one MIB clears out the wave in the bot lane and Lee Sao actually gonna be going in once more. Dredge line missing the, the right target. Does connect. 
but just under the cannon. Yeah, just a little bit of posturing here and there from both teams. They don't really want to be uh, the first one to pull the trigger here and, uh, you know, run into the other team. So looking at the top side, though, we did see Rose kind of just uh, split pushing up there, drawing attention to himself, looking for more of a reset here. And Phil Drake going to be coming out in a couple of minutes, though. So that may be the next objective to be fought over here for our teams. Uh, now, it is a little bit uh, on the side of where I am now. Lee Shao, though, I don't uh -oh. think he wants this fight. Morty's there way back. They low, actually turn. Oh, no. Rocky, Morty, they're, they're in trouble. But here comes Max as well. Yuri is going to be joining them. Castle missing, but that's okay. But in the meantime, since they want, they need to disengage as well, Mega Inferno Bomb going to be doing a lot, as always. Morty, yeah, Tracy Sports pushing now mid lane and bot lane. Rare Atom are caught in the mix. What can they do now? Yeah, what is the uh, answer here from Rare Atom? Because they did have to go uh, and leave the uh, that fight. And that does mean that Tracy Sports has more pressure now on both uh, the mid and bottom side of the map. But that will be reset. Now, the Dragon is going to be coming out in uh, about a minute or so. And they do need to set up. You can see there is a, a control ward there on the side of uh, Rare Adam. And Tracy Sports, I think that after this uh, next buff that Kha'Zix will be passing down towards that dragon because they cannot afford to uh, give this away to Rare Adam. But uh, both teams are kind of posturing towards the top side of the map for now. Yeah, Rare Atom banking on their late game scaling. They do have Yuri and Rocky just uh, having a really good position in the late game to uh, actually counteract most of the members here of 3c sports the only person they have to be really cautious about aside from wins begging for the bub of course is the assassination of weba which he has been looking for opportunities the entirety of the game and now 3c sports they want to draw attention towards this infernal drake they are grouping up as well here but eyes on rocky has a good flank Max is going to be going oh, oh, in. That is a big caught. engage towards that, but not really the best possible target here. Deathmark going to be used onto the Nautilus. Quite questionable, but Tax still survives. Now Megan Inferno Bomb going to do some damage in the front line. Valkyrie, a little bit bad. He's going to get caught. Yuri uses the Valkyrie to get back. But here comes Lisa in the flank. Gets a kill onto the Corgi. Here comes the Dredge Line. Here comes Weba with the reset. It will give him an opportunity. He will not Fail. And he gets the triple kill, he gets that ace, and Trace Esports might just end this game. Yeah, Rocky is now back up though, but what can he do against 5? He can't really defend this turret, he can't really defend the inhibitor either. If he risks everything on a counter-strike, he can get, just get jumped on and immediately taken out. But the death timers are a little bit too big, he has to go for a hero play here, but he will be CC to tries. death. And he's trying, he's going for the stasis, what the heck? This is taking all of the damage, Rocky goes down before the game ends, and Trace Esports has completed a 2-0 run against Rare Adam. Such a fantastic performance, a big punish by Trey's eSports, especially in that last fight. We already knew the moment that Rare Atom prioritized attack, Trey's eSports waited for the opportunity, waited for the best possible moment for them to pu start punishing them. The moment they saw Yuri using the package in, also invest the stasis, but still took damage and his health was critical. Lee Sao just went in, Weiba went in, went with the reset and basically swept the floor of their bodies and aced them right through. Cementing them a dominating 2-0 victory against Rare Atom and finally secured their first win in this tournament. Yeah, their first match and definitely needed that match-winning selfie there. Rose, Lee, Sal, and Sak on your screen.